Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of September 9th through September 15th. I've been trying really hard to catch up lately so I'm kind of on like a filming binge right now. Um, but for this week, the kit that I'm going to be using is from Nicole Hutch Designs and this one I think is called Autumn Leaves based on the quote box here. Um, and I'm just gonna really quickly show you guys what's included in the kit and then we'll jump right into the planning. So the kit, I'm gonna save this to the side. The kit comes with eight full boxes on this page. We have four headers and four quarter boxes. On this page, we have half boxes, quarter boxes, more headers, and then a set of matching glitter headers. And the boxes have some that are glitter outlined and some that are just um, solid. And then here we have a ton of functional items. We've got a weekend banner here, three heart check flags. We have all these circle icons here. We have tech stickers, functional icons, sidebar trackers, and then a movie marquee. And then on this page, we have the bottom washi, the date covers, and an ombre heart checklist here on the side. And she did also include another strip of the bottom washi, so it does come with two full strips. And I actually think I'm going to be using both of these um, so that I could extend the washi all the way through and cover up this little calendar in the corner of the new Erin Condren's. I don't use this at all, and usually it just gets whited out, so I figured um, because the kit does come with this extra strip of bottom washi, I might as well use it. So um, yeah that is the plan i love these date covers i think they're so cute by the way um so if you're interested in watching me plan with this kit then go ahead and stay tuned and i will talk to you guys in the voiceover for my bottom washi this week, I decided I wanted to use both of the strips that were included in the kit. And so I did have to trim down the larger strips so that I could fit them both in that space. And um, there was a little bit of like white space in the center of that strip of washi. So I did have to white out like the boxes of the Erin Condren a little bit um, just so they didn't peek through the back. I do the same thing on the other side. And like I mentioned in the intro, I did decide to use both of those longer strips that came in the kit so that the washi extended all the way through the bottom. After that, I go ahead and move to my sidebar and I figured I didn't have as much space as I usually do, so I decided to build it from the bottom up. And I first put down the Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. Um, the kit came with a dinners header, so I used that. And then I used the ombre heart checklist that came in the kit to mark my happy moments. And I also used a quarter box with this happy moment text sticker that was sent to me by a planner friend. I used the habit tracker to track my working out and I had just enough space left to put down the full box at the top and this layout kind of reminded me of the Erin Condren planners from I don't remember what year that was like maybe 2015 2016 when the full box was all the way pushed up at the top like this so it was definitely kind of a throwback to my early days of planning and it's really interesting because the reason I purchased this kit was that it reminded me of the kits that I used to use when I first started planning it kind of had this like old school vibe to it and I really really like that so it's just kind of funny how everything kind of fell into place as you saw I put down all the date covers and then I go ahead and move on to Monday um so the first thing on Monday is I put down a glitter header and then I use this really cute fall coffee sticker from paper and milk to mark that I grabbed some coffee that morning um I did have a morning meeting so I used a quarter box with a phone sticker that was part of the kit um because we ended up calling the parent over the phone and then to mark that I worked on reports that day I used a full box and this emoji using a laptop sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. I stopped by Target on the way home, so I pulled in this Target trip sticker from Bookish Planning, and that grocery icon came in the kit, and then I put down a quarter box with a half box for the rest of the day. On the quarter box, I pulled in this shoe sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark my workout, and then on the half box, I decided to layer this crying emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. and this heart icon to mark that we watched the season two slash series finale of Fleabag, which is one of my favorite shows ever. It's so good. It was a Really, really bittersweet beautiful ending to the show and um, I seriously cried for like an hour afterwards because I was just so emotional over it um, but yes it's so good and then I moved to Tuesday so the first thing on Tuesday is I put down a home um, header at the very top and then I switched out the color of the glitter header I used on Monday I used a quarter box with this annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that our cat Pokey threw up on our bed on Tuesday morning. And of course we have like a white comforter. And so I was like freaking out. I had to clean everything up and then throw everything into the laundry before I left for work, um, fun stuff. And then I wanted to mark that it was minimum day at my school. So I used this bow paperclip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. 
I then put down a quarter box with a pencil, or I think it's a pen sticker from Little Star Plans to mark a meeting that I had, and then I moved to the bottom and placed down a full box. On top of that, I used a glitter header and I decided to leave a small sliver of space in between. And then I pulled in this, I think it's like a third box. I pulled that in from my leftovers collection and I used this workout girl sticker from Whimsical Cat Studio to mark my Tuesday workout. I used a TV icon from my spoiled planner to mark that we binged the newest installment of one of our other favorite shows, Terrace House, that day. Moving to Wednesday, first I put down a quarter box at the top with a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Design to mark that I had forgotten my laptop at my other school, so I had to go grab that really quick in the morning. And then I put down this full box with a glasses sticker. I think that's from Laven Forest, um, and I just marked that I did lots of observations on that day. I think Wednesday was a pretty slow day, and so I was just marking pretty much everything I could think of um, to fill up the space. I had a quick meeting after that, so I used an asterisk sticker um, to mark that, and then I had an IEP meeting after school. I believe this was my first of many IEP meetings for the year, and for those of you who are new to my channel, IEP meetings are meetings that we hold for students who are in special education. That IEP sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers, and you will be seeing quite a lot of those in my planner because I will be attending um, a lot more IEP meetings throughout this year. And after work, I did another workout on Wednesday. I was super good about working out this week, and that shoes sticker again is from Hazel sticker. I then put down a quarter box with a TV emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we watched more Terrace House that day. And then um, I used a strip of the leftover washi that I had with a record script sticker from Love Shira over that to mark that I recorded a voiceover. And if you can hear some sounds in the background right now, I am doing laundry. So I think the um, machine is like filling up with water. Um, so hopefully it's not too loud or distracting. But um, anyways, moving to Thursday. I first put down a quarter box with a meeting sticker from, I think that's from Nightingale Paper Co. I had quite a few meetings back to back on Thursday, so I decided to use that as a header. And for my first meeting, I marked it using a um, alarm clock sticker that came in the kit. And then for my second meeting, I cut down a strip of that leftover washi that I didn't use. And then I placed a computer sticker from the kit on top of it. For the third meeting on that day, I used a quarter box with this bow paper clip sticker from Fox and Pip. I then put down a full box with the glitter header and this strip of washi. I think I found that in my leftover stash. I use that to mark date night with my boyfriend. So I use a date night sticker that came in the kit and also this couple sticker from Fox and Pip that I just added in my collection and I think it's so cute. Then afterwards we went home and we watched more Terrace House. So I pulled in this TV icon from the kit to mark that. On Friday, I first started by putting down a full box at the bottom, and then I moved to the very top and used a glitter header to start the day. I then decided to throw down the weekend banner on Saturday and Sunday just because I was already up there and I felt like doing it. And um, for Friday, I first cut down a strip of the washi that I wasn't using to create a little background, and then I pulled in this Hello Friday script sticker. I believe that is from Bookish Plans. I got some Thai takeout for lunch, which is one of my favorite meals to have when I'm at work for some reason. So I pulled in this treat yourself and utensil stickers from the kit to mark the occasion. And then after that, I used a quarter box with another IEP sticker from Happy Diet Stickers to mark a second IEP I had that week. Underneath that, I placed down a half box and I pulled in the sushi date sticker from Love Shira, who is no longer open, um, but I do still have tons of her stickers that I love to use because I love her writing. And then in the remaining space between the half box and the full box, um, I did have to trim down the full box a little bit to make room, but I used this pie sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I bought um, so much junk food at Ralph's afterwards because I was like PMSing and just so hungry for literally everything from ice cream sandwiches to gummy candies to chocolate. I got it all. Um, it was great. And then afterwards we went home and we binged more Terrace House. So I used another TV sticker from my spoiled planner to mark that. By the way, for this week, I believe the brush lettering pen I use is the one from Zebra. It's in the very thin size and I'm pretty sure that was the one I consistently used. On Saturday, I used a quarter box and the sleeping mask sticker I think is from Laven Forest and I paired that with a sleep in sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I had a pretty lazy morning on Saturday. I then put down a full box and then I scooted to the bottom to start placing down some functional stickers so I knew how much room I had to mark everything and I used a movie marquee and then a quarter box which I'm sure you saw me move from underneath to above the movie marquee and then moving back to the top, I used a small quarter box with a house icon 
on to mark something that happened that morning. And then we volunteered to do a beach cleanup that morning. So I used this really cute sandcastle sticker from Very Cute Designs. It did have text underneath it that said beach day. So I just cut that off because it wasn't super relevant. Underneath that, I used this utensils icon to mark where we got lunch afterwards. And then I took a nap when I got home. So I used this doing a snooze sticker from Paper and Milk with a sleepy dog sticker. And I think that's from Miscellany Boulevard. I then shifted things down a little bit and added a don't forget header on top of the quarter box. I used the quarter box to mark where we got dinner that day. We met up with my boyfriend's family and um, the taco sticker is from Plans with Vanessa. On the movie marquee, I used this treble clef sticker from Plans with the Ness to mark a concert that we attended that day. It was really fun and we got to go with my boyfriend's family. So it was definitely some quality time spent with them. And that was it for Saturday. Um, so I go ahead and move to Sunday. I first put down a to-do header at the top and used a time to clean sticker that came in the kit. And then initially I used this really skinny box with a heart icon, but I do switch it out for a larger quarter box instead because I realized I had that one. And I used that to mark something that happened that morning. And then underneath that, I pulled in a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. I absolutely love those little stickers. They're so perfect and come in so many different colors. Um, and I used that to mark that our friend dropped off a car at our house that day. Um, he was leaving it here for a bit. And then we went to the pool with a couple of our friends that day because the weather was super nice. Um, so I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoti. That one is like wearing a cute little swimsuit. And then the pool day sticker is from Lexi Kylie Design. I made some dinner when I got home, so I put that on a quarter box with a utensils icon from Lemon Paper Co. And then, as you can probably guess, at the end of the night, we watched more Terrace House. So I used this TV watching munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that. And again, the brush lettering pen I used is from Zebra. Once I am done with that, I went back to my sidebar and I tracked all my workouts, um, my happy moments, and my dinners for the week. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it for this week. I feel like it was really simple, really straightforward. Um, I'm just showing you the stickers that I have left in this kit. And now you can kind of see the overall finished product. And I purposely didn't use any foils for this week because um, like I said earlier, this spread was kind of like a throwback one where it just reminded me of like the way that I used to plan or the kits that I used to use back when I started planning. And I don't know why it just like felt really comforting to use a kit like this um but anyways i really love how this turned out and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this please let me know if you have any questions um and i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i'll talk to you next time bye